Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the latest must-have Skyrim mods for the second week of September 2024. Whether you're looking to enhance your gameplay, add new outfits, or improve the overall aesthetics of your game, we've got you covered. So, let's get started. First up, we have the Dynamic Female Swimming Idols model. This mod adds a variety of new swimming animations, specifically for female characters. No more stiff and robotic swimming. Now, enjoy six new female swimming idol animations and three main animation sets. Each variation is tailored to different styles, allowing your character to glide gracefully and fluidly through the water. It's a subtle change, but it makes a significant difference in immersion. Next, let's talk about the Better Horse Dismounting mod. If you're tired of the awkward and clunky dismounting animations in vanilla Skyrim, this mod is for you. It provides smoother and more realistic dismounting animations, making your horseback adventures feel much more natural. Moving on, we have the Confident Husky Anim's Vanilla Replacer SE. This mod replaces the vanilla husky animations with more confident and lively ones. Your huskies will now move with a sense of purpose and energy making them feel like true companions. It's a fantastic mod for anyone who loves having huskies as their loyal pets in Skyrim. Now, let's take a look at the Wolong Quarterstaff's moveset mod. This mod introduces new quarterstaff animations that are inspired by the Wolong series. The animations are smooth, dynamic, and add a whole new level of excitement to combat. If you're a fan of quarterstaffs, this mod is a must-have. Last but not least, we have the Wolong Halberd's moveset. Similar to the Quarterstaff's mod, this one brings new Halberd animations to the game. The animations are fluid and make using Halberds in combat a thrilling experience. If you enjoy wielding Halberds, you definitely need to check this mod out. In this section, I'll introduce a few utility mods, starting with Asset Doctor. This utility mod automatically scans and locates missing meshes and textures during game load, offering both manual and active inspections. It displays paths in the game interface or logs them to a file. For manual inspection, it scans all meshes and textures loaded in the game and records the paths of missing items to a file. For automatic inspection, it displays the texture path, mesh path, or polygon count of the item the player is looking at. The specific paths of missing meshes and textures are saved in the Asset Doctor report file, allowing you to easily identify missing texture and mesh files in your mod list, thereby enhancing stability. Next up is Unequip Quiver NG. This mod automatically unequips the quiver when you are not using a ranged weapon. It supports both SSE and AE, and since it is an ESP-free plugin, you can reduce the number of plugins by using this instead of auto unequip ammo. Even if you don't use auto unequip ammo, this mod is quite useful for removing the quiver from your back. It can be easily managed through a mod manager and is safe to install or uninstall mid game. Next, we have a visual mod called Flying Air Balloons. This mod adds flying balloons to Skyrim and allows you to optionally replace airships with balloons. When used in conjunction with the Flyship animated mod, you can see various floating objects in the sky, enhancing the distant scenery. Additionally, combining this mod with the one I introduced in my recent video, fantastically enhance your gameplay, will allow you to experience a more dynamic landscape. Be sure to check it out. This time, I'd like to introduce a mod related to NPCs. First up is Sky Child. This mod is a high-resolution version of the next-generation TKAA mod for Skyrim, replacing the children NPCs in the base game and DLCs with high-resolution meshes and textures. The mod features distinct face meshes for male and female child NPCs. Additionally, it adds appropriate outfits for each profession, such as merchant children wearing merchant clothes and minor children wearing minor clothes. This will take the visuals of your Skyrim children to the next level. Next up is the J3 Serana Replacer. 
This mod transforms Serana's appearance using a variety of high-quality textures and makeup, making her look even more beautiful. It applies high-resolution textures to various parts such as her face, eyes, and hair, providing a more lifelike appearance. Additionally, it allows you to customize Serana's look with different makeup styles, enabling you to enjoy the Dawnguard quest with a high-quality version of Serana. In this section, we'll be introducing outfit-related mods. There are quite a few outfits to cover, so let's start with the first one, the Mage Clothing Expansion. This mod adds 10 new robes, all carefully crafted from existing vanilla assets, equally divided between male and female characters. Each robe has an alternative darker color variant, adding much-needed diversity to your mages. You can craft these robes at a tanning bench or use console commands. Next, we have the Rover Armor. This immersive outfit for adventurers comes in three colors, white, black, and blue. It features modular light, heavy armor, or clothing sets with immersive HDTSMP physics. The armor pieces include pauldrons, cuirass, thigh belts, boots, and gauntlets. Moving on, we have the L Elven Assassin. This craftable light armor is highly modular and works with pre-update versions. It's perfect for your stealthy elven characters. Now, let's take a look at the Armors of Dragon Champion. Six colors. This mod adds a new set of armor and weapons to the game. Customizable, multi-layered, and modular. The armor comes in multiple colors, including blue, green, purple, red, black, and white. Another great mod is the West Wind, Assault Armor CBBE 3BAV2. This mod features spud distribution for the West Wind, Assault Armor, specifically for AK0D's 3BA conversion. It includes various armor variants for female bandits. We also have OB Skirt and Shirt 3BA 4K. This single shirt and skirt mod is craftable and ESL feed, perfect for adding a touch of style to your character. Next is the Tai Woba Fur, the incremented world of bikini armor. This mod is an unofficial continuation and tribute to the expanded world of bikini armors, adding a variety of bikini armors to the game. Finally, we have the Razor Exusia Armor 3BA. This mod features a unique armor set with customizable options, perfect for your character. Lastly, we have an update on the Inquisitor Warlock mod. Following our previous introduction, this update adds more spellcasting animations and is now updated to version 0.95. When you press both the left and right attack buttons simultaneously, a new energy wave animation is triggered. Additionally, when you use spells while pressing the backward movement button, you can experience additional motion actions. Compared to the original Inquisitor, this mod offers more diverse controls and improved motion frames, making it a highly anticipated update. If you prefer using magic, this is definitely a mod to keep an eye on. That's it for today's video. I hope you found some new mods to enhance your Skyrim experience. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment with your favorite mod from this week, and subscribe to the channel for more modding content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.